little tying session tonight. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Just wanted to hang out with everybody and make some jigs. We got a pretty good size order going to be coming in soon, so got to get them tied up. I got to figure out what I have and haven't done here. What I'm working on are these 164th ounce, um, just little 164th ounce jigs. Got a couple different colors. I think this order's gonna be for 70 of these, so seven different colors, 10 of each color. This is our pink lemonade. This is a bubble gum. Um, we got some ice cubes tied up. Here's one of our ice cube, ice cubes, just a white and blue. Good clear water. Should be good, so. Figure out here what color. Carrots, we can do some carrots. I gotta make 10 carrots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. No, it's fine. Hope everybody's doing good, though, tonight. The carrots are an orange body with a green tail. And they look like a carrot when they're done. I'll show you. Of course, you'll see it here when, they're, when we do it. I grab some orange thread, get my blue out. I just realized you can see the drone right there behind me. We don't use it, we have the license. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, I'll deal with this tackle tomorrow. Okay. Because um, we're not going to go fishing today or tonight. No. We might tomorrow. Actually. You think we might tomorrow? Maybe. You want to? I always want to go fishing. Okay. Tilt y'all down some so you can did see. You, oh, did you want to talk Hey, what's up there, Mr. Domingo? We are, um, we're doing great. We're tying, got to tie a few jigs and thought I'd get on here and see what everybody was up to. Oh, tell them about my label machine. Yeah, Sophie has a label machine there. She's showing off. So we can actually, um, label our bags now. I don't know that she has any done that we, we've shipped them all out. No, yeah. But we can actually label like what size and color and all that stuff. So it looks a little bit more professional. Yeah. Okay, what states did you say? We need to add Washington, Idaho. Okay, is Washington that really top corner? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's W A. Mm-hmm. Washington and Idaho, and that's thanks to Rich and Jessica. And then Indiana is Mr. Carl. And Domingo, I took the kayak out um, over this past long weekend. Twice, you went twice. I took it out twice in search for crappie and did not find any crappie, but I found some huge bluegill. They were really, really big. I mean, they were like, you barely could like close your hand around them to hold them to get the hook out. They were nice. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Get some orange chenille here. These small jigs, I use a, um, it's a lot smaller it's like a small size 
Chanel. Because the, the big stuff's a little too fluffy for these tiny little jigs. W-A? W-A, yep. Okay, where is Indiana? Um, you can do Idaho. Is it the state to the left of Alabama? Mm, or is that Georgia? Mm, no, that's Georgia. Yeah. Do Idaho, which is right What's next Idaho? to Washington. This one? <clears throat> no. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? I can't see it, but it's the one right next to Washington. Yeah, it's the long, yes. This yes, that's Idaho. Looks like chicken. Looks like a chicken. It should look like a potato. Because of all the potatoes. Kentucky looks like a chicken leg. Kentucky does look like a chicken leg. From the KFC. Blue Girl, some fighters. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was a lot of fun. Of course, I had my ultralight and some four pound line, so I was catching them on a 1 16th ounce, maybe. I think it was 16th. Oh, and then I swapped over to a 64th ounce with um, just like a little red plastic, look like a, it looks just like an earthworm. And they were hammering that thing. I pulled too hard and broke my thread. That's all right. You can catch it back down. I got these new scissors from Andromedus Fly Company. Anadromous. <laughs> Duh. Anadromous Fly Company. They're nice. What? No fly in your hair. Oh. Idaho is ID. ID. Those scissors are super nice. They're really sharp. And then which one? Dylan Indiana. Got, Dylan got lonely. Yeah. <clears throat> Little scissors are pretty sharp. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, we already got Indiana on there. Okay, Would yeah. Oh. Not that I-N. All right. Because we had um, Indiana, Chris, and Carl. Yeah. And we got Pennsylvania colored in already. They look like a carrot. How'd you know I was coloring Pennsylvania? I didn't. I just. Oh. I was making it the orange brighter. It was oh, yeah. I think this stuff fades. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Travis? It fades, you think? Like in the sun or something. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the other. Yeah, show our map. It's getting, it's getting more. That's everywhere that Rock Creek that we've shipped to our jigs to. So if you don't see your state on there, um, place an order on our website and we can fill your state in. Looking, looking better, getting there. What state is this? New Mexico. Oh. Uh, Goose is in New Mexico. He is? Mm-hmm. I would eat it if you were a fish. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. The little 64th ounces have been really good for Sophie and I in the, in the creeks lately. Okay, I'm going to bag these, and then we can show them what the label machine does. Okay. You think um, a medium size bag for this? Yeah. Yeah, because there's 10. Oh, they would probably all fit in a small. Uh, I'd be. They'd be cramped. I don't want to cram them in there. Like Are you going to put the caps on the hook? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where they are. I lost them. You got them over there somewhere. Mm -hmm. We got the little caps um, to go over the hooks now as well to kind of protect protect people whenever they open them. 
No, I don't have them. That, that's them right there. Where? On the shelf. No, those are all weed guards. Oh. I definitely do not have them. Do we either, <laughs> anybody ever throw these? Um, they're a, like a pony head, underspin type thing. Oh my God, those things are ugly. Sophie hates them. I do. <laughs> And these are really heavy too. They're quarter ounce. So they're kind of too heavy for what I generally try to throw stuff like this on. I got this 10 count bag for like $3. <clears throat> so I had to pick them up, but I don't even hardly use them. Hey, Don R. Welcome in. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us this evening. <coughs> I got some new chenille from a new company, but I don't um I don't have any heads painted that would match it or else I would tie something with it cuz I'm really excited about it. It's a purple. And I've been I catch a lot of fish on purple. Purple jigs. We need to get our creek boxes together. Yeah, I know it. So that's what's been the night and tying hmm? everything full of however many boxes we have right now. Yeah. <coughs> oh, don't know about Etsy. Yeah, we've also um, got an Etsy shop too. You can find Rock Creek Bait Company on there. Mm -mm. Quit. White bass love them here in Quit. Texas. I've also used the smaller ones for crappie. Walleye like them there. Awesome. Yeah, I've seen the smaller ones for crappie, but those quarter ounce are pretty big. White bass would be cool. Just run like a grub worm or something behind them. Walleye. I've never caught a walleye. Need to need to try to get on some one time. <coughs> also got some new colors of bucktail. Look at this one. That purple lavender color. That one's gonna be awesome. That'll look really good with that purple chenille. I don't even know where it's at. While I've been down 70 feet, jeez. You ever caught one at 70 feet? Yeah, our lakes don't even go 70 feet deep here. <laughs> oh, Washtal does it? Oh, yeah, well, Lake Washtal does, but... Um, D Queen. Oh, it was triple digits. Yeah, some spots in there are like 100, 120, 120 130. That's not. Yeah. Um, this has a little bit of black in it. It's all right. I don't know how it got black in there. Is it just a piece of a feather? Mm hmm Why? Mm, I hate these heads on these. This is our old color. There you go. Yeah. That's really not so efficient glow in the dark. Yeah, we had some yellow that was supposed to be glow in the dark. I think this looks green. That's supposed to be a glow in the dark head. Yeah. But I think it looks slightly green. It's not like a bright yellow. But we got a new color. Yeah. The new yellow come in and it's nice. The new yellow is definitely nice. The glow in the dark did not work. No. It was supposed to glow in the dark and it did not glow in the dark. It, it glows in the dark for like three seconds. That's yeah. It. It's 
it's not enough that we don't even tell people that it glows in the dark whenever we sell it to them because <clears throat> I don't want them to think that it does and be disappointed. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I'm not going to use it again. We might mix it in a little at a time with our good yellow. Oh, yeah. Kind of water it down or powder it down. Don't put water in it. Don't put water in the powder? Mm -mm. Please don't. Right. It would definitely ruin it. I dropped one. A jiggy? We'll never get it back. <laughs> we'll get it. Crazy. No, I dropped one of these white things. Oh, yeah, no, that one's gone. That was gone forever. Alright, done. I say we've already used half of that bag. Of the white things? Yeah. I thought it was a 500 count bag. Mm. Hey, what's up, Stilix? 220 pieces. Hey, did your package make it to you, man? Also, did you check up on um, the old draining Lake Conway thing? Because it is, it's fallen. <laughs> does he live close to it? I think so, yeah. <coughs> Dylan, what are you doing, bud? Y'all see my hair is shorter. Sophie cut it, and I am going to have a video coming out one of these days. I'm going to put some of my hair on a jig and... um go fishing with it on just like a 64th ounce Don't fall in. i'll be in lake conway that'll bring it back up there you go dan what's up man welcome in don't fall in the lake, don't fall in the lake. received it on tuesday awesome good deal you're welcome thank you for being here you tie in my opinion the right way start in the back and work forward oh yeah I just got my hair cut after work today. Nice, man. Sophie cut mine. I took a thumbnail whenever it was halfway done. Y'all will see the thumbnail whenever it, I release that video, but it, uh, I don't even have, I haven't even tied the hair on the jigs yet, so. What size is this? But I got the thumbnail. Those are 164th. All of these are going to be 164th. Okay. Yeah, I can zoom in a little bit on this. I know the forward-facing camera is not fantastic, but maybe you can kind of see, kind of see what goes on there. I'm not going to label this specifically a crappie jig or such. No. Because it could catch all of it. Yeah. I think he says he's going to use it for pan fish anyway, so, so any not, kind of bluegill or anything. I'm not going to write any of that. I'm just going to do one sixty-fourth ounce pink lemonade. Perfect, yeah. Now, bucktails, I do label. Yeah. So, I always get my marabou together, and I trim the very ends of it to where it's the right length, or everything's all squared up. I can't see your face? No, not right now. I wrap it forward and backwards and pull it, pull it pretty tight. This small a thread, you can break it, I mean. There's Sophie's, got those 10 packaged up and her label maker there, 164th ounce pink lemonade. Looks nice. Getting somewhat professional. And then the chenille. Hey, what's up, Matt? Welcome in, man. What's going on with this one? Uh, bubble gum. The chenille I tie back towards the tail. Right where I stopped with the thread before. And then I'll wrap back up to the head. And then 
wrap it around. I go the same way that I'm tying, that my thread goes. So I go on away from me, so I take my chenille away from me as well. Wrap it down to the head. Then I go over it once and under it twice. Over it twice and under it twice. Pull it tight. Cut her off. Um, Those scissors that Anadromous Fly Company. Maybe y'all can make it out, but uh, they sent me those. They're pretty awesome. I'll build that head up. Do what, babe? Mm -hmm. And the whip finish tool. I always go five wraps. Like that. Okay. That's how we do her. Little bitty guy. I think the 164s, they have a... Um, I've got a number eight, and I use Mustad Skipjack. It's a Skipjack sickle hook. Okay, buddy. I'm just gonna start stacking these over here, okay? Okay. All right, let me see. The number seven, yes, sir. That's what it is. What? My The guard on my head? Yours is the number eight. Oh, you used the number eight? Yeah, because it's oh. supposed to be winter. Oh. She yeah. left it long for me for winter time. We do seven for summertime. Seven in the summer and eight in the winter. What is the name <laughs> of this one? Ice Cube. Ice Cube, yeah. I've never used a jig that light. Could possibly get them at Bass Pro, but never go to downtown OKC. If you go to rockcreekbaitcompany.com, you can get them in your mailbox. <laughs> Dan. Nice scissors, sharp, sharp. Always have to buy two sets. <laughs> the misses and daughters confiscate a pair always. What? Whip tool is great. Scissors. He, do oh, you have I the same? Never. Yeah, she doesn't mess with the fly he scissors. She took my scissors. I bought these from Dollar Tree and I can't get them back. Yeah. I've got several pairs of different styles and whatever different scissors, but uh, she doesn't mess with the fly scissors, but the... I don't touch your fly scissors. The big scissors, these are just straight up Dollar Tree. What's up, Mr. Vacation Ted? How you doing? Dylan, what you beating on? I don't know what he's doing. Just hanging out. <laughs> We've got a video coming out tomorrow. The Wagner paint sprayer. Oh. Sophie and I went just ultralight fishing. Kind of been the pattern for us this summer since the it's been so hot. Usually we, we can find shade in the creek paint. Yeah, we go walk and find the shade and the the fish are where the shade is, too, because they're smart and get out of the sun. So it's always uh, Ooh, what a... It was a fun this? trip. What Who is what? Who is this? Who is what? Catfishing. Oh. I like his coffee cup. Oh. <laughs> His Sophie, uh, yeah, Sophie just said she likes your coffee cup on your picture, Dawn. <clears throat> I want to be. Yeah, that's Matt from, he's from Arkansas. He, 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 you told me his name was Wannabe. Wannabe, want to be. I know, but I wrote it, wanna. Oh, <laughs> yeah. During the giveaway, um, and it's even a two. It's not even spelled out. It's want a, it's want a two, to be two. want to be outdoors. Yeah. He wants to be outdoors. Yeah, I get it. But you said wanna wanna to me, so I wrote wanna wanna be wanna be. My bad. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I was just in a hurry. I was stressed out. The giveaway was that was crazy. It was. It was stressful. It went good, but it was stressful. We got everything. I think everybody's gotten everything except for Alvin. But for some reason, his email with his address went to the junk folder. Oh, did it? 
Yeah, it was in my junk. He I sent it to me during the giveaway. But, um, yeah, I never got it because it that's, was in the spam. That's Google's fault. I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Google is fault. It's pretty disappointing. So, he said he still hasn't got his, but I believe everyone else's. I checked tracking numbers today, and it said pretty much everybody's was either delivered or delivering today. Another carrot. We I don't know why we even come up with that color combination. You held it up like that, and somebody said it looked like a carrot, so we stuck with it. Yeah. It just kind of made its way onto the website and never has gotten removed. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It catches a lot of, uh, a lot of fish. Hey, what's up, Any Finn? How you doing? Let me see here. Wish I could stay. Wife and I have stand by me. Quite up. Queued up. Got you running on the PC. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Matt, for sharing that, too. We appreciate it. And if, um, if anyone ever catches a fish on any of our lures and wants it on the website, we have no problem adding them. We're in a photo gallery. Dylan, what are you doing with the bubble machine, bud? It's noisy. Well, he just uses it because it's got a fan on it. If y'all want to get back, I'll get back in, brother. All right, Mr. Ted. Thank you, sir. Hope y'all are having an awesome time in a, on your vacation there. In the OC. I don't know what that stands for. I think it's Orange County. but Oklahoma. No, it's OC. Oh. OC, Maryland? I think it's Orange County. I don't know. Now, where is that hand? Is it pooping? Look. What are you talking about, Dylan? Mama said pooping. Mama said what? I don't think Mama said that. work check and chat when i can not busy in like 15 minutes <laughs> danimals off the hook don r want to be don't play any fin you want a sticker ocean city oh okay got room for one more down there have fun ocean city okay cool <laughs> orange county that's what i was thinking man i have no idea i've never been to maryland oh, dylan or I've never been out there. I said, oh. do not play with these. Buddy, you ripped it. No, that's okay. I like this. Okay, yeah, these no are doubt. Stickers. These are our business labels for the flies. I just cut off a little bit of, uh, about eight inches at a time. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Mike? Arigo Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for uh, coming in here, my friend. Hope you and the crappie queen are doing good tonight. That is um an awesome dude right here. If y'all don't have Mike, go pick up Mike. He's a cool, they got a cool channel. Him and Mr. Jim at the next cast um, film a lot of content. Can you as possible? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cute. It is cool. He's nice. I like it. Don't yell at me, any fan. You done got me messed up. Don't tell me what to do. Out. Actually, um, this food, out, this stuff is getting stringy and weird. Yeah, I'm trying to go subscribe to all these people because I ain't been on here in a while. She caught some crappie yesterday morning. Awesome. Seen her catch a three pounder down there at Weiss Lake in Alabama. That was insane. 
My vice is being goofy tonight. It ain't trying to hold the, trying to slip. Thumpy must be fishing. I haven't seen Thumpy on much. He's been posting videos, so I mean, I know he's still out, out and about, but he's either here and being quiet or what he's doing. button that says put user in time out don't time nobody out <laughs> that's great crazy news. she always outfishes me i completely understand mr mike i feel you what is going on with this man i'm about to get about to get on my nerves what my thing's not clamping me Okay, this line is flinky too. Uh, Mike, did, did Jim share any of those 180th it's ounce jigs so, with y'all? It's so, so bright. It's so, so bright. It's so, so bright. That light's bright. That one's bright. You're right. I'm <laughs> Oh, okay. I got two more. I didn't know if you'd went with them. I I know I'm excited to see that content coming out. Hey, Baba. They just got home. Jim was up in Michigan trying out the new flies you tied for him. Awesome. They just got home. They said they would get on and take their home. Okay, cool deal. Yeah, he had mentioned he might do the same colors in the 164th ounce. So that's kind of what I'm doing is getting a jump on him so that he will not have to wait. If he does decide to go ahead and order, I'll at least have them built for him. And, and if not, we'll sell them tonight? Yeah, if not, I'll, I can post them online and we can sell them off. But I just figured while we had some downtime. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen one and then he uploaded one right after I went live. So I have not been able to see it yet, but I'm excited. <laughs> well, congratulations. He will not potty train y'all. I don't know what his deal is. Oh, God, it stinks. <laughs> we'll have to try some with the fly rod. Absolutely. I cast, um, I casted mine with that four-pound line, which I know you guys with um, all your ACC crappie stick stuff, y'all could cast them as well. I really want one of those ACC sticks, too. I looked at them at a sporting goods store in Fort Smith, Arkansas, one day whenever Sophie and I were up there, but I didn't didn't pull the trigger on one yet. I really, I'm torn between that and um, Chris there that y'all were with, with Pistol Creek, was using that, um, like a Revros, maybe? Yeah, they are a little bit. I think you get what you pay for, but. I like Chris's Revros combo for that set that he has too. Mm, flies are going everywhere. Chris had a nice pull. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I picked him up from y'all's video. And uh, I've been watching watching his stuff, and he, he does a really great job. Really great videos, too. Hey, what's up there, Jeffro? How you doing? We're just tying some 
64th ounce. Right now we're doing a, the carrot, the color we call carrot because they're orange with the green top, just like if a carrot was in the ground. That's exactly what they look like, I mean. We got three more and then we'll be swapping colors and going to something else. I might go to, um, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. I'll probably go to, um, we've got one on our website called the TNC jig and it's actually stands for, are you kidding me? That was insane. She's dumping out the blocks. All right. Um, the TNC jig on our website stands for The Next Cast, which is Jim's channel. It's inspired by him. It's the gold and black that he has on his channel. He's a stink. Okay, buddy. You have the seven foot, seven and a half foot, 7.6 foot, 10 foot, and the 12 foot crappie sticks, and I totally fell in love with them. Man, was that Domingo? That is awesome, dude. I want, I want to get like a five and a half foot, I think. Maybe a six footer, but I don't do enough like for the 12 foot rod, I don't do enough like vertical jigging to even really justify needing a rod that long i like the vertical jigging you do mm -hmm. what we you know where we need to go back to north fork with the either, i knew you were gonna say that did you really yeah because we caught all the caught the crappie the vertical ramps, like on the hill yeah yeah and we can vertical jig i the seriously crappie. knew you were about to say that that's where we caught all those fish that one time jigging straight up and down i didn't catch but like <laughs> well crappie. that's where i caught all the fish well I don't know. I want to take the bass boat out. Can you not take the bass boat there? Yeah, actually we could. Do you want to we, do that? We could go there or go to Grease Center again. We could take we could take it to North Fork, okay. and we could side scan and find some brush piles out deep and try to find some crappie. You got a big fish? Okay, buddy. Don't what do y'all think? He has a big fish. I know Jeff Rose for some bass boat content. I think it's Jeff Rowe that's always wanting to see us on the boat. Every time you say his name, I think you're saying Jeff Rowe, and it's never, it's never what I think. You want to go with us? Absolutely. Man, if you were closer, you'd be more than welcome, Domingo. Okay, buddy. The carrot? Yeah, the carrot. And the other night, whenever I was out in the carport um, filing the jigs, I showed some that like sabiki rig type thing that I'd made with the um, little little jigs, and I took that thing out and tried, like gave it. They were biting hair jigs, like marabou jigs, like these. I could not buy. What's up, Jonathan? Happy birthday, buddy. Lovely lunchtime entertainment. <laughs> nice, man. Happy birthday, dude. I wrote it on the board back there in the grind shop. Hopefully you uh, seen it. You have to be careful. He'll put you in the lake. He fell. We. I don't know if I've ever told you all that. I took, that's Sophie's dad there, Baba, and that's, um, I took him fishing, and we went to a lake here, Lake Greason. Anyway, we're like, the first week or two of March, and then we had ran a half mile or so from the ramp around to this spot, and getting up, you know, and I put the trolling motor in the water. Well, he had got up and like, kind of caught his foot and fell and rolled off the boat into the water and we're like 50 55 foot um are these gonna be the pink 
Pink somethings? It'll be pink ball heads. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's the pink lady. Because the sunset one that's on this paper, we don't even have. It's not on the website anymore. I need to write the pink lady down. Yeah. Pink lady's just all pink. Yeah. Literally just pink ball head, pink Did Chanel. Did you order these the first time? Yes. You ordered the pink ones? Yep. Does Jonathan have, is he like doing something on YouTube? No. It says no subscribers. Yeah, he's just. He's got videos. Oh, he's got playlists. Yeah. It was all my fault. <laughs> oh. I think he missed the step. There's a step up on the back of my book. Yeah. What about it? Oh, he might have tripped on the little handle to the uh to the live well. I've done that before. Yeah. May have been may have done it. If it's sticking up, it's catching. I just farted. Dylan. I did it. Be Polite. That is yours. He got not a man or one. How many more of those you got? Two more? Yes, ma'am. I have eight on the yep. bowl. Nine. This is number ten. This is number nine I'm about to finish okay, right let now. Let me have that paper. The TNC jig needs to be on there, too. Okay. Here I thought... I was getting Is close to like finishing the playlist. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mr. Stacy? Yeah, we always got to try to add more in case uh, our little playlist. In case people catch up, we got to keep adding content. Man, we are growing fast. The watch hours are climbing. Um, we're like... Thank the Lord. Yes, definitely. We're like 2,200 almost now. Our Etsy got a few more views than I thought it would. Yeah. Like 60 views. Oh, yeah. We got an Etsy shop, too, if you just search. I think you can just search Rock Creek Bait Company. I tried that. It doesn't happen. But I, don't know. I was using my own account, so. Or you can type in, um, like, pink lemonade, okay. crappie jig, or whatever. Okay, the pink lady is pink. Pink with pink and some more pink. Building a tall tower. You built a wall? You used the hot pink towel or the pink with the flash? Probably the pink with the flash. What do we use the hot pink for? Nothing? Random. Random? Yeah. You built a wall? I see it. That's crazy. That's a big wall. That's crazy, Ben. Hey, bring me that pencil sharpener. What? That is a big tower. It's almost as tall as you. It is. It's like up to your shoulder. It is not. It is a shoulder. It is your shoulder. That's your shoulder? That's ladder. I bought these for doing that. What is it? The pencil sharpener. Is it shaped like a whale or a fish? It's a fish. It's a piranha. That's ridiculous. It says piranha. It makes sense. This is going to be great. I'm in school. Just kidding. Mm. You're not a tool. You're not a tool? Is that what he said? No, he has to work there. Okay, what did you say? T... TNC. TNC is black head, gold body, black tail with a gold gold flash. Mm -hmm. 
I always put the gold flash in with the TNC jigs just because he, um, it's kind of a special jig. All right, let's build those. Hey, Mama. Hey, Dylan. Bank Fishing yeah. Adventures. Daddy, big tower. Mr. Smalley at the Dam Man. Daddy, I'm so jealous, Mr. Stacy, of those. That's... I like your tower, buddy. Look at his tower. Look at his tower. Dylan, I love your tower. That's a great tower. We'll swap colors here. Yeah, it'll fall down if you kick it. Don't kick it. He's going to kick it. He just said what are we um? What are we building now? Uh, uh, pink, pink lady. Yeah, no. Or you got the black one. I'll now? do the TNC. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you wrote the pink lady in pink. I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ew. She keeps me like a list of. It's just so we don't have to keep asking each other what it looks like. Yeah. Like, I can just look at Candy Cane. It's a white ball head, red body, white tail. And we use the same materials for all of it, so. Yeah. The USA used to have two cool towers. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, four Who's days. That? Jonathan bought him. Your tower just fell. What happened? The, the, the anniversary is literally Mommy, four days from now. Tower. Yeah. Oh no! I didn't get it. Pick it up. Oh, All right. Okay. Let's see. I need black. Okay. So now you're doing T and C. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go play with you. Mm. Load up the next black. Mommy, pick it up. Okay, buddy. Here. Uh, just T and C. T and C. The next cast. Black. Vivas 140 denier power thread is what I use for the crappie jigs. I think I'm ready to chill for 30 minutes. Yes to the bass boat content. Glad Mr. Barbecue is okay. <laughs> I heard that, Dylan. <laughs> I'm glad Mr. Barbecue is okay. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> That was funny. He's talking about Bubble yeah. Squatch? Yeah. Glad he's okay after falling out of the boat, I think. That was like, was that this past year or the no. last year? Yeah, it was. Last year or the year before? I don't even know if Dylan was born. Was he yeah. born? Um, I was hanging out with my mom that day. Because your dad and I were going fishing. Yeah. I don't know. Dylan might not have been born. No. I don't know if Dylan was even born. It may have been like three. Oh, it was 2020. It was the year I was pregnant. Oh, you're pregnant. Barely. It was if it was March. I get this gold flash out. I don't know. It was either twenty or twenty or twenty one. That is a big tower. I don't know. I think it was twenty twenty because I was pregnant and I, we were worried about you being on the boat. No, y'all being on a boat. Oh. We weren't for a good cause. You cracked a purple you, block? You pushed my father. I pushed your father out of the boat in 50 foot of water? Yeah. <laughs> you just kicked it? Yeah. Why'd you, Come here. Pick this up for me. What'd you kick it for? Changing got me messed up. Oh, yeah. You think? I think so. This is crazy, crazy weather change. I'm gonna have myself a birthday here in this month. Yeah, Sophie's birthday is the 30th of this month. Yeah. Sorry, sir, Mr. Barbecue sounds cool. <laughs> That's funny. What? What did he say? 
It did not ruin our trip. Oh yeah, no, he toughed it out and fished. We fished all day. I thought we were gonna have to go home for sure, but he, he said, no, let's just wait and see. Literally just got there. <laughs> Travis said, my wife's is the 20th and his nice. sister-in-law is the 24th. When's grandpa race? 24th. Okay. And and your brother's the 20th. Yeah, my brother's That's crazy. Nice. Mine's in October, so. Actually, mine and um, Baba, Mr. Barbecue, is uh, one day apart. And that, the day, your birthday, October of 94. Yeah, 93. 93. Sorry. October of 93 on your birthday is when my parents met. Yeah. They got married in July of 94. They show sure did. And I wasn't even a thought. Where's my tower? What happened to it? You beat it to death. Glad y'all could still fish, and I'm glad the water wasn't too cold. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I don't... Were you... Ooh, were you filming? At the time? No. Then it was before Dylan. Tower. Oh no, we weren't filming until twenty one. I wish we would have been filming. We would have already been monetized by now. That would have been our viral video. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Wait, when did we start filming? Our uh, first video release was February twentieth. Twenty twenty one. Of twenty twenty one. That's what I thought. It was. So it was twenty twenty because we would have been filming in March of twenty twenty one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Didn't you say it was March? Yeah. Okay, it was 2020. Look at that gold. Okay. That is some beautiful stuff. It's almost going to be too big for this, but I think it'll be all right. Is that on here? I'm about to find out. I've got yeah. some even bigger. You want bacon in the morning? They did bacon went there. They did bacon. Bacon and toast in the morning? Well, now. No, for breakfast. In the morning, right now. Bacon and toast right now? He loves bacon. It's ridiculous. I love bacon right now. Do you love bacon right now? Yeah. I love bacon later. Bacon later? Yeah. You're a bacon later. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, I didn't. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you knew he was going to say that. I said, you're a Baconator, and he said, no, I'm Dylan. He does that with everything. Yeah. He always says it. If I, if I refer to him as anything else, he'll go, no, I'm Dylan. Right. Gold is a well-known color to use on crappie jigs. Nice. Probably because it's shiny. Yeah. I think I need to feed them. Oh, the doggos? Our doggies. Man, I've got some um, some stuff that I wanna. I haven't made anything yet out of it, but it's some. Um, it's called Minnow Blue, and it's a long chenille. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Barbecue, you may now kiss the brisket. <laughs> Jonathan said, "Who doesn't love bacon?" I don't know. I didn't hear anybody <laughs> say they didn't like bacon. He must be bored. <laughs> He's at work. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't I know how well y'all can see that. Jokes. How well y'all can make that out. Yeah, some gold. I can flip it around, I guess. There you go. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> there you go. Something y'all didn't want to see tonight. <laughs> to see the replay <laughs> you're so silly you're ridiculous <laughs> i literally just slick my hair back so it looks like a wet dog it's fine you're so silly and he wet dog <laughs> <laughs> dylan. dylan we were just joking fish catching jig there it nice. wasn't a dog i was just joking Okay, not everything is for your enjoyment. 
It is. What do you want it to say? I want to take it from that. What do you want it to say? I want to take it from that. I know. What do you want it to say? I want to take it. Dylan. What? What do you want it to say? <laughs> I want to take it. You want it to say Dylan? Dylan? Dylan's on fire tonight. Yeah, he is. that big button. He's a stink. Hey, can you say hi to Baba and Lola? Hi, Dylan. Oh, my goodness. Here, show them your sticker. Wait, don't pull it out yet. You want to come here and show them your sticker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What? Oh, no, I meant to break. <laughs> How long is that thing? Dinosaurs. Come here. Hold it. Come here. Hold it. Put your fingers right there. Okay. Uh. Here. Hold it up in front of the camera. Come here. Show them. What does it say? This wasted a lot of Who is that? Time. Who's that? Dylan. <laughs> Dylan? What's your sticker say? Goodbye. Hold it like this. Come on. Like this, on your arm, like that. What does that say? It says, Dylan loves bacon. <laughs> <laughs> no, potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes? It says potatoes. Oh, it says potatoes? Yeah. I think it says, Dylan loves bacon. It's not a sticker, it's my label machine. Put it on your forehead. <laughs> you want to put it on your forehead? You want to put it on your arm? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. You want me to stick it right there? Yeah. Okay. You want me to stick it there for real? Mm-hmm. He's just going to take it off. Are you sure? Does yeah. it peel in the middle, babe? Uh, fold it in half, and then there's two sides. Oops. That one's your metal. Okay. There's one. There's two sides to it, yeah. Two sides to every ah, sticker. You didn't have to crease it. Just You just had to bend it. Oh, well. Okay, you're not allowed to label the bags. Come here, buddy. Let me have your arm. Let you me stick it in your arm? It's not arm. All right, like this. Lay down my elbow. Oh, perfect. Look, show them. See? Dylan loves bacon. Good job. No. <laughs> No potatoes. Look, look. Do you see the dinosaurs? Yeah. You see those? Yeah. Say Where? thank you, Domingo. Thank you, Domingo. Where? He sent you some dinosaurs. Oh, I see. The bacon sounds like he wants his mom to cook a hash brown casserole for breakfast. No. Oh, that sounds good. No, it's potatoes. <laughs> it says potatoes. He, he won't. I don't know that he'll eat it in that form. Hey, Uber. Uh -huh. He's really picky. Uh -huh. Welcome in. Doing it. paperwork, but we'll listen. Hi. You being a stinker? Dylan loves potatoes. Dylan, Baba said. Dylan said, "There's the G baby." No, potato. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it says potatoes. It says potatoes. Yeah. Uh, don't put on potatoes. I'm gonna make some flies while you're sitting there being crazy. I was gonna do something for him. Oh. Yeah. I'm on your arm. No, I don't want it on my arm. Why? Okay, stick it on my arm. It oh. says, love my baba. Hey. It says, I love my baba. Hey, I should have said I heart mom. I heart mom. <laughs> that would have been funny. I think I... It's not sticking to me very good, oh, huh? Oh, I got me a tattoo. Never see my tattoo? Yeah, so we got her a yeah, tattoo. Look at my tattoo. Not a real tattoo, but... Booyah. Good old dump truck. Good old tow truck. I mean, tow truck. <laughs> she got Dylan her. didn't want it, and I had already got it wet. Anyway. Got her a tow truck tattoo. I'm going to take it on your arm. I'm going to take it on my arm. You got your mater tattoo. <laughs> Who said that? I, no, I just did. Oh. I'm the funny one you're looking for. I'm the uh, my baba. You do? Good. Here. What? Why? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Go to mama, buddy. Here. Uba. 
Uber, Uber, Uber. Uber. I put you right in the flies. Hey, what's up, Glenn? How you doing, man? Hope y'all are doing good. I made her, like tub made her without the tub. Man, we've been on a car's kick here, so. It's been between cars and Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. You want a what? Show them your pumpkin. You want me to just show him? Yeah. All right. He wants me to show you all this. I'm up there. Are you coming up here? Yeah. There's <sighs> The pumpkin's on the table. All right. Now what? Getting plans set for alligator season. That's awesome. <laughs> Do they eat them? Oh, yeah. He eats them. Y'all eat them? Sophie asked. Definitely. Getting plans set for alligator season. Read it. I'm excited to see Read what y'all get, Glenn. Read it. That's a pumpkin. Yeah, he'll film it. It's been on SpongeBob at our house, and I have no kids. <laughs> Travis said it's been on SpongeBob at our house, and and they have no kids. <laughs> Show them my finger. Show them your finger. Show my finger. Really? They got that new SpongeBob. I'm showing that. I love you. Back when you was a kid. I love you. Huh? I love you. I love you. You love you? Who are you saying that to? Huh? That's Who are you saying that to? That's mommy scissors. Those are my scissors, yes. mommy. Mommy and I don't know what mommy tells you during the day, but them are my scissors. Mommy, what? Buddy, you getting the whole, the whole caboodle in there? The blue scissors? Yeah. I literally just bought them. So they went. Yeah, we eat them. Love me. Located a few big ones, so this year will probably be a little more get intense. Off. Get off me. You get off of me. You get off of me. You're on me. I'm excited. That's going to be awesome. I'm not on mommy. Okay. You done? See you later, alligator. All right. See you later, alligator. Oopa. See you later, alligator. Oopa. Hey, bring, bring that to mommy right there. Can you grab that bring it to mama? Let me help you. Here you go. Hang on, wait. I got to like our live stream on my wife's phone because she won't like our stuff. Oh, and another one bites the dust. You all right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Seeing that new record gator thing was huge. Man, Mr. Jim's pumping out the pan fishing shorts. Tagging us in them. He's using our, our jigs. He ordered a... Some 180th ounce jigs. And he went to Michigan, and I, I'm guessing he tore them up because he's got the content coming. I hadn't seen the new record Gator. if I get on Instagram or something long enough I'll be able to see it but I like the non gator lakes that we have here don't have a public tag but I do know from credible sources that Arkansas has a potential world record gator if someone can catch it. 
This was meant to locate it and estimated at 16 feet. That's insane. There's another, another one there. Flip around. Sixty fourth ounce, number eight, sickle hook, black with a gold stripe downer. Ought to be all right. Ought to do it. New Mississippi record. Glenn, you do any dove hunting? Well, it's dove season right now. And maybe early, early teal or goose season starts next Friday. Getting into the hunting, hunting stuff, so. We got a bunch of doves around here. Um, on the way to town, passing some fields that they're always flying up out of the fence row. We have one, if we can catch, that should go over 12. God. Y'all be careful with those crazy things. That's insane. I'm too big of a chicken to handle them I don't know, just going to like Millwood yeah don't anymore because I'm so busy scouting deer and gators but used to hunt them a lot nice I know they're real good eating, of course, but. You all right? Nothing like fried doves, cream, potatoes with gravy, homemade biscuits, and don't forget sweet tea. Oh man, <laughs> sounds so good. Definitely sounds good. We've got um, I've made, I've had them like dove poppers where you stuff the breasts with cream cheese and a jalapeno, wrap them in bacon and. Crazy, awesome, awesome stuff. Everything goes good, should be able to catch five this year. Nine footers of 12, 10 plus 12, and found a couple in the eight range. That's insane. <laughs> Largest verified ever says 19 foot two in Louisiana in 1890. It's crazy, over three of me long. That's terrifying to think about. Just going to like Millwood Lake here in Arkansas below the dam at night is spooky because it's just nothing but gators. It's pretty wild down there. Glenn, that video you got of the 
um, that alligator eating that fawn, that was crazy. Just awesome that you, he was able to get that on film, man. That's so cool. Recognized world records like 15-4. It's not the certified record for some reason. A scrub mommy or a scrub daddy? You're trying the mommy? You're on the scrub mommy? Yeah, because it's got two sides in it. There's two sides to every scrub mommy. There is. I know it. I didn't know it. I just messed with her. It was awesome. 16 minutes of eating and running off two other gators. That is so cool. Did you see it capture the fawn too? Was you watching the fawn get water? Or was it just a fresh... I'm assuming that it went down to get water and got got got, but it's still wild. I know you'll probably care more about trying to see this. Yeah, I'd never seen anything like that in like in person or like somebody that I know like you video. Of course you see it on like National Geographic or something, but never seen a wild gator in person. Only zero places like a zoo. Hey, where's the plate up that you made on? In the sink. Okay. Oh nice. Catfish bigger than Volkswagen Beetles at the 250 foot SML dam when welders worked on it years and years ago. I've heard that. I've heard that too about like our lake, Lake Washtenaw and stuff. That there's giant catfish. Just got it before we got there. Guessing it pulled it down and drowned it. Gator was a little over eight foot. I was 10 yards from it. That is insane. Did you say something about a scrub mommy? <laughs> He's so silly. We don't mean to get on your nerves. It just happens. I wish, buddy. By the way. Yeah.
OFD. Outdoors fishing dream. What's up, man? I'm sorry that I missed you coming in. How are you doing? And you subbed to us. What's up? I appreciate it. Make you a moderator, and it's easy for you to pick up um, everyone else's channels that's in here. I'm just kind of hanging out, um, tying some jigs tonight. Um, we have videos. We release full-length videos on Fridays, shorts just kind of sporadically throughout the week. Um, I'm Matt. My wife Sophie in there. Dylan's in there, our three-year-old. And uh, I go live and tie these jigs and hang out, and we have fun. So I appreciate you joining joining in with us, man. I'll pick your channel up as well whenever we get uh, I get off here. Um, my biggest is a 34-pound blue. Caught it in 2020. That is insane. Slipped down at one spot to get a look at the gator. We think it'll be 10 foot or bigger. It was acting a little irritated. Oh, yeah, I seen that short. You said I think I was in the wrong place. It's like little bitty babies everywhere. Yeah, get out of there. Hey, what's up, Mr. Jeremy? How you doing, man? Welcome in. That's an awesome catfish, for sure. Got promoted? Yeah, man, we promote everybody. What's up, Logan? How you doing, buddy? Released to be caught again another day. Hey, Outdoor Fishing Dream said, say hi to your missus for me. Twenty babies. Jeremy, you catching any tagged fish on Lake Conway, man? Need to get over there. Release a few back in the water occasionally. I release most catfish into Lake Crisco. Absolutely. Show you one of our jigs. Um, outdoors fishing dream. If you kind of what we're doing here. This is a uh, 164th ounce. I pour the lead and everything. It's a number eight, must add skipjack hook. And then I put that gold flash down each side. Little bitty, little bitty jig. Not big at all, but. See the drone has the DJI band went through band went through i don't know i haven't uh, hadn't heard anything about it two kilogram tilapia with it when i was young don welcome welcome back or welcome in or you were in here a minute ago but not put a hook in there yet. Live 40 yards from the lake and hardly ever fish it anymore. What? Do you know where that, like, Cole and Jay live then? I know they live, like, right on the lake, too. My brother graduated with them. My stepbrother. I haven't heard anything about the um, DGI ban. Caught her on Kerr Lake. That's our record cat lake anyways. I feel she belonged there, yeah. They live about two miles from you. Nice. Cast once when you're on your way walking home. Yeah, no doubt. I bet below the dam will be hot and at the mouth of the Arkansas will be fire. Oh, yeah. It's all going to be good for a while until they finish dumping water. How do you like your fly wallets? Man, I love them. Uh, they're on the bar up there. Hey, Bay, yeah. could you throw me one of our fly wallets? The wallets, our fly wallets on the bar? Where? Just somewhere. 
I don't see it at all. It's right here. That's fine. I can just show you them. Um, I can just show them theirs. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Best. I do most of my fishing in Conway during winter months for crappie. Yeah, these are the fly wallets that a guy, um, Cades made leather sent to us. And they're, that's a dung beetle, of course. But inside, it's got spots for, you know, whatever cash or fishing license and whatever. But then this, um, you can stick your jigs in these little slots. And of course it'll hold them. And you can button them down. Button it down. Pretty neat. Really, really neat, actually. And you can load it up. I mean, you can put however many you want around there. Oh, Jeffro, I talked to Cade about them. And um, he said that he wants to, right now, he said with... I think he said his wife's health condition or something. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but um, he said it would be kind of overwhelming. But he wants to like get a website so he can start selling like one at a time or whatever. Yeah, I really like it a lot. Yeah, you can put those. Like I said, those jigs. It holds pinches the hooks. And you can, you know, when they're all all loaded up, whatever, you can fold them down, button in there, and then they're safe. You can see them, kind of see them in there. Throw it in your back pocket or throw it in your, you know, shirt pocket or whatever. Um. But yeah, I will, uh, Jeffro, I'll keep you updated as soon as I hear anything that Cade has a website or anything available, I will let you know, absolutely, because I'm a fan of them. Uh, Domingo picked up Outdoor Fishing Dream. Awesome. Thank you, Domingo. That's cool of you. Outdoors. I need to really do 17-year-old... 17 year anniversary is Saturday. Nice, yeah. Bayfish be making out to the river. The blues and flats will be feeding. Happy anniversary for sure. There's mine, my black one. They're identical. Sophie's and mine. Pretty neat. We'll be having those loaded up with some some jigs and hitting the creeks and rivers and ponds and lakes and wherever we fish. My vice give me fits and I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I need to maybe try to put some WD-40 on there or what. Healthier and wealthier year. Awesome. You bought the mega pack of bacon? A pound and eight ounces. A pound and a half. <laughs> Matt, you've been on a diet looking lean. I got a haircut, man. I think that may be it. <laughs> Jeremy? <laughs> a whole other level outdoors? No, not at all. Sophie is absolutely feeding me. I don't know if he has this vice. It's a different one than what I used to have. It's not the um, Colorado Angler. I've still got that one, but of course. But If it is the same one, yeah, I don't know what the problem is. It's just a pain. 
Matt, have you ever slipped while you're pushing the hook in just now and gave yourself a good piercing? I have not, but I've hit it. Um, I've hit the hook. I've hit the hook, the tip of it here, and cut my line, I don't know how many times, and I've hit my finger on it before and stuck pretty good. Yeah, that Colorado Angler one, um, it's a good vice too though, We, uh, I still use it. Actually, that's the one that we take um, to like shows and stuff. I'll take it set up and I tie like live demos in front of people. Anytime they, especially like kids love to come up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Tie me a blue one or whatever. Oh, yeah. You can tell it's a vice because of the way it is. What's up, fish and nut? How you doing, man? It's definitely a vice. You can tell it's a vice because of how it is. Yeah, we had a, um, he was probably 12 or 13 year old guy at one of the shows that we were at and he come up, chef girl already cooks too much for a guy to diet. That's the truth, man. Glenn, she does. Religiously like your stuff. That's cool. Thank you guys for supporting her. I got a hundred followers now. A hundred followers. Famous. Hey, Mr. Goose. You seen, um, Be right back. No, we're thinking Thumpy's um fishing. He must be out fishing. I got the vice you have. Really like it. Hey, Mr. Ordered another one to have handy. I gave twenty one ninety five for it. Nice. That's a really good deal. Goose, hope you're doing good. Yeah, Mr. Goose had a had a little heart attack. Or I say little, not to take away from it, but y'all pray for him. Cause that's that's an ordeal for sure. Very sore, but healing slow. Doing good, just chilling, watching One Piece on Netflix. One Piece. I hadn't seen it. Or heard of it. Seen you alive. Had to come say something. Well, I appreciate you dropping in and hanging out with me for a minute, man. It means a lot. We're, um... We've got a show in Oklahoma... Uh, yeah, October 6th and 7th, and that's what, we're going to sell these, um, sa this is Sasquatch fur. Okay. Also, the paperwork says that we're not allowed to put Bigfoot on anything else. No, we're not allowed to put Honubby or conference or something, festival. We can put the word Bigfoot. That's the Bigfoot fur, Bigfoot jig. That's a half ounce. UV resin cured, red eyed, wax thread. Fancy pants. Weed guard lines up there. Get it to focus. Probably. Anyway, that's our Bigfoot jig. We're going to try to make a bunch of these and get them, get them sold up. Now we've got normal stuff like, like this guy is just a bleeding, bleeding shad. Gotta go. All right, fishing with the Parkers. Thanks for hanging out, man. We'll catch you later. 
bleeding shad bucktail. Again, in a half ounce. And just a bunch of randoms, you know. This is actually mine. It's a quarter ounce, but I trim my weed guard down so that it's a little less intrusive or intimidating, whatever. But that's my lime green or my chartreuse, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, the Honubby Bigfoot Festival. So, I'm hoping that Bigfoot fur, I'm going to like locally sourced from natural Arkansas, you know, whatever, something. Picked you up, Big Malone. There you go. What's up? That's cool. Thank you, Jeremy. Welcome back, Fish and Dream. All right. Like that Bigfoot jig. Catch you soon, brother. Wanted to pop in and see how you and the family were doing. Tell yourself good night and I'll talk soon. All right, Mr. Jeremy, thank you. And uh hopefully you and you and your family are also doing great. Happy anniversary to y'all this weekend. Big jigs and light pink would be good for reds on the coast. Big jigs and light pink. light pink I've got like a that's not I've got an entire box of deer tails it's kind of insane it's kind of out of hand Yeah, like that guy. What's clack a lack in there, Vig village dweller? <laughs> Mim mimic a shrimp, awesome. Thank you, Jeffro, nice looking jig. Ought to be able to sell a bunch of them. I hope so, I'm gonna try to take 40 of them, my goal, but we'll see how many I get made. But Man, I've got a hot pink tail too, but I don't know where where she's at. I don't know. Show y'all some of the secret secret stuff that isn't out yet. But that's mine and Sophie's. These are mine and Sophie jigs. That one and this gold. It's got like gold um, glitter on the head. Gold body and that brown tail. Then that pink is really, um, really fluffy. I'm not sure about this chenille yet. How thick it is, I don't know. I mean, it's not soft. It's, I mean, it's not hard. It's not going to intrude on the hook or anything. And then, of course, there's a bunch of tinsel stuff down the down the um tail you can kind of see it flashing that ought to work uh it's getting there glenn we're at like 2200 i mean we're over halfway the timu video that we put out just put the put the channel on its back pretty much and <laughs> built it up It would mimic a shrimp, yes sir. Let's see. Love them, thank you, Domingo. Hey, Mr. Earl, what's up? Show the Terminator jig. Man, I do not have a Terminator. I could tie a Terminator. I have, the Terminator takes this dragonfly. I bet I know a guy that would buy one if I, <laughs> If I die one. Do I have anything on here? Yeah, let me finish this one. 
Finish this one, then I'll tie a Terminator. To your cabinet? Yeah. I didn't mess it up. Yeah. Are you talking about the order? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I jacked the order up. Got us a tournament. Yeah. That pink jig here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> you just heard you haven't been taking care of yourself. Oh, no. Did you ever catch any fish? What I'm assuming that looked like the, um, that AGFC lake that we went to up, up there. Heard the same thing earlier. I guess my warranty was expired and had a massive heart attack early Monday morning. Dang. Goose, that's awful. Another, another one of those TNC. TNC is the next cast. We just call it a TNC jig, but it's Mr. Jim uh, inspired. Everything is so low in Fort Smith. Do another Timu video. Apparently, folks are searching for them. Uh, it kind of is like fizzled out now but i mean it went like 2800 i mean it wasn't like anything insane is it possible to catch catfish on a fly rod with a jig and if so who was the brilliant person who thought of that jig that was used mr alvin that is hilarious alvis lewin oh it is definitely possible i 100 percent can guarantee you that it is possible and Sophie actually found the original, <laughs> the Rob Reefer, <laughs> found the original um, corn jig. She found it. I don't know where she put it, but it, it is around here somewhere. Timu hit me up a while back and I'd never heard of them. All right. Timu hit you up, like wanted you to make a video for him. You should. All right, so we'll take that dragonfly. This is an eighth ounce, but it'll work. Um. <coughs> Mainly because I don't have any of the other ones tied. So for video, for this live stream sake. Yeah, this one's going to be way too heavy to be a Terminator. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I believe it's just a blue body. What is going on in my bobbin here? Blue body and a white tail. Hey, is that right? I don't know why. The Terminator that your dad likes is a blue body and a white tail, right? I did not know. I believe it is. I really don't know. I smell like strawberries. You smell like strawberries? I do. There's did you quit on this order? Definitely worse things. Yeah, I moved on. Oh, honey, we're in a business. You can't do that. Well, I was just doing one.
It's easier to grab them all when they're s sitting on the bowl. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. See? Look how neat that is. What's in the bowl, Milk? Carrots. Carrots? So we got four bags already. Yeah. That'll be number five, six, seven. That'll be good. That'll be 70. Are you going to finish some TNCs tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it was miserably hot. Uh, got me some stents now. I'm feeling better. Appreciate the prayers. Oh, I'm going to chase ocean salmon on Saturday, taking 541 fishermen along. It's going to be a lot of people on your boat. Is he a guide person? No. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, he has over 97,000 subs, probably over 100,000. Who? Sounds like a blast. Maybe, uh, maybe Earl, maybe he'll share some of them subscribers with you. Earl has that many subscribers? Mr. Earl has like 9,000. Yeah. What did I miss? I'm so confused. He's taking a guy out fishing Saturday. That has like almost a hundred thousand subs, or maybe a hundred thousand by now. Who? I don't know. Some dude sent name name five forty one fisherman. Never heard of him. Me either. What area code is that? Five forty one. I don't know where. I have absolutely no idea. Probably Oregon. I really don't. Okay, so what are you working on? The TNCs? Right now, I'm working on a giant Terminator. Okay. Are you going to tie the pink ones next? Not tonight. Not tonight. I'll okay. do the pink ladies next, yeah. Okay, and then what was that last one? Whatever the other white ball head on our I website don't know. is. Candy cane? Nope, that was done. Ice cube? That was done. Bubble gum? No, that, that candy cane's done. not done. Yeah, it is. What's that? It 100% is. Oh, it is? It's that red and white right there. This is pink. There's a red. Oh. No, we haven't done that one yet. That's what I got. I thought you. Oh, is there a is there a candy cane on the web on the Etsy? Yeah. Oh, that's what that's why I'm confused. Okay. The three white ones. We've got two of them done. Five forty one is their area. This code. is bubble gum ice cube. So you have candy cane. Okay, so that's just red. What size did I say I was doing everything? One sixty fourth, small. I'm putting what I'm doing is getting some of this uh, blue pearly more. tinsel and putting it down the side. Any more? Any more? More what, buddy? Any more straw rabies. More straw rabies. Buddy, I'm afraid the natural sugar is gonna mess you up. One sixty fourth. Yes, ma'am. All right, so anyway. You should have swapped candy cane with K's. No. <sighs> you missed out. There's too many K's going on. Get a cane. It's just two. Uh -oh. Yeah, but I don't, I don't like it. Oh, I do. So if we're trying to get you on track for business and you're piddling. I know. She's a slave driver, man, I tell you. All right, literally all I'm going to do is just build this body up a lot to where it has a taper down smaller towards the tail. I realize I'm so mean. Well, you're not mean. <laughs> you're a sweetie pie. Buddy. That's enough strawberries. Strawberries for tonight. We have some more in the morning, okay? Did you drink your juice? Okay. Build that up like that so it's tapered down. <clears throat> Alright, I got all the labels made for the, the order. This is bit this is business, exactly. Your, yeah, your dad said, this is business. I'm buying that jig. 
You find that? Yeah. Babe, this is the Terminator that he swears by. Okay, that's big. It's a big one, yeah. I, that, that's what I said. We'll make him some legit small ones. Will he's buying that one? That'll be $10. $10? What? Daggum, you drive a hard bargain. $10 and a grandbaby watch. $10 and he has to watch the grandbaby? Mm -hmm. And he can have that all to himself. <laughs> and he can have that jig? Where'd you get that shirt from? I got it out the closet. I like it. Thank y'all. That Thank was you. Dylan's second birthday last year. No, it was this year. Literally this year. I literally just wore it. No, honey. We did trains this year. We did two Asaurus last year. Oh. Skip Jack Cindy's Outdoor. Welcome in. <clears throat> This got my phone, so I'm very bored. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Sold. <laughs> All right. I'm joking. I'm going to drop some resin on it and then make sure I know where my light's at. What What is that, though? How much is that one? This one? Yeah. Weight-wise or yeah. price-wise? How, how big is it? One-eighth ounce. <laughs> what? We need to have we need, we need to make one that says that's something that's something colored and it's baconator. The baconator? Yeah. I'm down for that. You said eight? Yeah. The terminator or just terminator? Probably the terminator. Oh. We'll seal that right there up. Nice. Cut your hair, ready? Hitting dad with some inflation. Yeah, I know it. <clears throat> I did it. He did. Thank you, baby. I'm so, hey Earl, Alvin, Alvin MC. Thank you for the wrench. You're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in here and hanging out with us. Are you a baby? I appreciate it. Yeah, baby. I'm little. I'm my daddy little. Let me flip it around. I'll show you. It'd be, okay. be a lot easier to see it on the other other side. Hello. <laughs> Hello. They're Dylan. They see you right now, buddy. Yeah, they see you. All right. I see you. You see me? Um, I don't know if y'all can see it. Turn around and see mama. No, that's okay. They don't want to see that. With that UV resin body. The better or worse? That's fantastic. Just like that. Yeah, we got got that blue flash all the way around it. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. We have all the ring lights. <laughs> we got ring lights on ring lights right now. Anyway. That's my pencil sharpener. All right. That's the one that we call no, the Terminator. It, just because it's lethal, I guess, and catches everything. It's got that pearl flash around it. Now, that's an eighth ounce. Um, we put an eighth ounce on our one uh, size one hook. It's still a must-add skipjack. Bet a skipjack would bite that. Is that resin? Yeah, that's a resin right, body. I got a ready. Looks like a laser, so Terminator shooting lasers. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, baby. All right. I'm going to put all my flies in my nice wallet. Okay. Tomorrow. Great minds. Awesome. Um, Jeffro, that is uh, Protec powder paint is what we use. And that color is called Dragonfly. You can get the Dragonfly color there. Looks good. Thank you, Freddie. Welcome in. I appreciate it. Is this something that needs to go on Etsy? No. That's that's literally your dad's. Oh, well, I packaged it. I bet a skip jack would eat that up. Awesome. Oh, I didn't put an earpiece. Yeah, Welcome in. Looks good. Great minds. What color paint? Reef. Huh? Oh. I bet that blue color is good. Hey. He likes it a lot. He um we catch he catches a lot of fish on him. 
So he's caught gar, catfish, and then of course crappie, bass, sunfish, all the normal stuff. But the uh, a gar is like at least two foot long, probably. He was telling me about down on the river, hit him and took off with it. He No, no, no. He got it up on the bank, but it was like a big drop off down to it and could not get... Could not get it up on the bank, and it ended up breaking off and flopping back in the water. Thumpy, what's up, man? Welcome in. We've been asking where you was at tonight. Sophie is still cutting my hair right there. I've got a thumbnail taken where literally half of my face is clean, like trimmed up, just like this, and the other half is long hair, shaggy looking. I'm holding up a couple of jigs. And I'm going to put my hair on some jigs and, like, go fishing. So that video will come out some one of these days at some point. Hey, are you ready to go down there? Yeah, welcome in, Corey. I appreciate it. Yeah. You were sucked the thread so hard it went through your throat? No, but what I do whenever I get ready, I always make sure that my thread is just barely, barely longer than i know you probably can't see it but i make sure it's just barely longer than the thin bullets than the bobbin itself so that that doesn't happen green body with pink tail is a good choice orange body with yellow and black tail green body with pink tail man we could uh we could for sure make one. Let me add you as a moderator. That way you can pick up people if you're interested in them. That way you don't have to mess with like sharing links or any of that mess. But we only got 16 people on though. That's awesome. I appreciate y'all. 24 likes too. That is insane. Daddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're just sitting down. Homemade pumpkin puree. What color? Let me see. What did he Can say? You say that? Green body pie. with a pink tail. Pumpkin You gonna go pink head pumpkin too? Pie. So why are you doing this? Pink head. Why are you doing that jiggies? What am I doing with that jiggies? Why are you doing that? I'm just making some <gasps> jiggies. Oh, I'm baking it. Baking what? Making it. That. What are you baking? Oh, cool. Okay, I've never done this before. What are you making? I'm making homemade pumpkin pie from complete scratch. Pumpkin I'm pie. I'm going to put pumpkin in there. Pumpkin. Yeah. But I'm going to have to bake it like it you would a spaghetti pumpkin? squash. That's pumpkin? exciting. You have to cut it in half, bake it, all that matters. You say pumpkin? That's cool. I can say pumpkin. You say pumpkin? You say pumpkin pie? When did you hit a thousand? Um, man. You ready to go down there? Like Thursday. Come on. Maybe Thursday, something like that. We just just got there. Yeah. Oh, like how you doing, Skip Jack? Fifty viewers and Matt will tie his fingers <laughs> into a fly bait. Definitely, I will. If we get fifty people up in here, we do. We uh, definitely get some giveaways going, rolling on. Subbed you outdoor. There you go. That's cool. Deals. You hear deals back there? Just shared you out. Let's see how many people we can get up in here. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Loaded up some pink. Pink thread. Got a pink ball head. Let's put a green body and a pink tail on. Let's put a pink buck tail on, too. I've actually got... Or, uh, blue? Blue? All right, I've got some hot pink that'll go, that'll go good with it. You want to touch it? Yeah. Well, come here. It's not, oh, it's not hot, buddy. It's just, it's just called hot pink. It's called hot pink. Yeah, it's just the type of color it is. Is there more? That is more hot pink, you're right. 
one. Yeah? Ooh, I like this one. You like that one because it's sparkly? It's glittery. Glittery? It's so glittery. Now what is it? It's just a different type of, of stuff. Mommy's not taking a shower, buddy. She's in the kitchen. See her? Yeah. Mm. Some green. Some more green. Some green? I like some green. Should you up? <laughs> People don't care. <laughs> Man, Mr. Earl, I appreciate it. What's up, Pork Chop? How you doing, man? Welcome in. Pork Chop Outdoors. I ran out of peppers. <laughs> Did you ever catch a fish, Thumpy, on, on the... Before the uh, peppers got you? Dylan, I got a very special project for you. Not present, project. A project. Yep. Do you know where... Uh -huh. Hey. What? That, go over there to that box over there. Can you get that? Sure. Thank you, buddy. Can you hand that to me? No, don't dump it out. I needed the stuff that was in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't need the blue. Hand me the green and pink stuff. Green and pink stuff? Yep. Do you see any of this green and pink? Yeah. The green and pink stuff. Okay. Yes. Hand me that, please. That's good. That's plenty. Daddy. Let me see it. Thank you, buddy. Crazy boy. All right. I got some. This is gonna look good. It's not good. It may not, it may look awful, but I think it'll look good. <laughs> Just another another random. Yeah. Not yet. Oh this is look at this rainbow. Look at this rainbow. Yeah, it's a rainbow one. Look. I see it. That's crazy. No, not with that one. And it's yellow and pink and blue and this and this one 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 and this one. You know this one better? Yeah, do you like that one? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let me zoom out so y'all aren't looking at me insane. Still yet to catch a pepper fish. Child labor, yeah. Phone's acting really crazy. Rough last night. You finally caught a 10 pounder. Nice. Sent that message twice. Gonna be a nice jig. Um, how much does it cost? For the one I'm tying now. Uh, these, I think, are $2.50, something like that. A piece, so. That's for the eighth ounce, and it's a size number one. We use Mustad Skipjack uh, sickle hooks. So they're a good hook. Like that guy. Let me flip it around. Be be yeah. easier to easier to see. Legs Your legs covered in flies. Look at it. Get the black black backdrop Daddy, there. Look at it. Your leg is covered in flies. That's crazy. Look at 
Oh, that's crazy. That green and pink. You can take it off. Yeah, that sickle hook. I'm just in here. I'm just in here. You can. I almost went just straight green, but I know I had that new stuff. It's a green and pink with like some flash on the body as well. It ought to do it. Should be okay, maybe. And that's poured and painted and tied and everything right here in the middle of nowhere, right where we're at. I've got, I bought that chenille and this is just like a, um, I don't know, maybe 10 yards or something, 10 yard bag that he sent me. Soap? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Oh yeah. Nice one, love that color, thank you. Choke hazard, you mean? Awesome. Great morning jig, awesome. Reef is acting crazy. Need pliers with those jigs, people. I catch year round on his jigs. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate it. Oh, Big Malone's heading home. Three minutes, and he's hitting the time clock. You ever tried using two pieces of chenille and twisting them? You can get some pretty cool patterns. I have not. I'll have to try it out. Mess around with some stuff. That's a good idea. I'd bite it if I was a fish. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you, Earl. All right, let me get back here. So, yeah, but I don't, I'm not real wild about the, the chenille. It's kind of like really easy to pull, pull loose. I don't like it. Once it's tied on, it's solid. Of course, it can't go anywhere, but I don't know. It just kind of slides around. I don't like it. Putting more weight on the jig with material. and got to think about the action. What's up, Catfish Fever? Welcome in, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> yeah, man, not man. Want to be... I thought you done quit, YouTube. That, um... The Juglon nest box thing, that's pretty awesome. I would love to try it. Time. I try to get something together. Nice. Let me go back down to the... I'll show you the size difference. Thanks for the color choice. That was a great combo. Great jig combo color. Absolutely. Thank you for suggesting it. Middle of nowhere is a good place to be. Absolutely. That's the size difference between the eighth ounce. Let me get one that's tied. Hey. Yes, ma'am. No, not really. Okay, how much? Twenty-seven or twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-seven dollars for a cheesecake? They're thirty-two ounces. That gum. Why is it so expensive? I think they're really big. I don't know. Jeez. Anyway, that's the difference between the eighth ounce and the sixty-fourth ounce jigs. Is that the Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. That's it what it says, seems like. It says Aunt Val's Cheesecake. Aunt Val. She, got some cheesecake. she says one of my family members. No, man, it's not a cheesecake. That's a cheese pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a cheese pizza. 
<laughs> no doubt. 16th are my go-to always. That's all I use year-round. Nice. That's a very, very good size for sure. We went, um, this right here is the 16th. These are 16ths. Love me smaller jigs. 16th, 64th, and 80th, definitely. They're a ton of fun. Corey there at um, Thumpaholic Fishing is the one that got, got me started on the super lightweight stuff, honestly. Watching him catch so many fish on the 64th ounce, and now we've got the 180th ounce. Um... I've got like a 2,000 hooks in there now for 64th and 80th ounce jigs. Favorite is a chartreuse tail and purple chenille body. I tied one with purple and chartreuse chenille twisted before, and that was awesome. Purple and chartreuse chenille. I don't know that I have any. Um, chartreuse tail. Some would say cheesecake, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's telling Alvin Merry Christmas. I, I definitely have chartreuse chenille, I'm sorry. I don't have purple. I don't know that I have a purple chenille. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do have purple. What's up, Wyatt? Welcome in, man. I appreciate you uh, joining. It says you're new here. So welcome to our channel. We, um, My name's Matt. My wife, Sophie, and our son, Dylan's over there. I'm tying jigs right now. Crappie jigs, panfish jigs, whatever. Whatever bites them jigs, pretty much. And... Uh, our full-length videos drop every Friday, so you can look forward to that. We've got a fun one coming out tomorrow with some ultralight. Sophie caught a really nice creek bass tomorrow in our video. It's going to be good. <laughs> Those would never get 40 foot down. But welcome in, Wyatt. Reef Robber sent you over? Awesome. Well, thank you, Mr. Earl, for sending him. Orange head on that dude and his dynamite. Always use a 16th for crappie and adjust the skirt length. Nice. 16th are fun. Catch with 32nd all year round here in my area. That's what Alvin said to me first time he came into my life for the first time. What all that Sharon did, awesome. Orange head and a brown body with yellow tail, kind of like Bobby Garland Pennyback. I've got all that stuff too, purple people eaters, yeah. What color was on that head, did he say? Um, he didn't say. Good to see your posts work. Man, I appreciate it. I've got just kind of like a random, this is just kind of like my pile that I've painted and poured and I just kind of, when I get bored, I can tie just out of here. We've got like, and that's a, that's an eighth ounce casting jig. It's gonna have a weed guard, but it's on a different style hook that I'm testing a little bit. It's a real heavy, heavy wire hook. And then I've got, oh, these big five-aught, half-ounce guys. <coughs> it's not white. Um, really, you don't have to have the nicest stuff. And you can get a lot of supplies from, um, like, Hobby Lobby, surprisingly, that are extremely cheap. Um, I would say, like, you can get started for I would say 50 or 60 dollars probably which I know is like kind of a lot of money but I mean you can definitely get into it 
you don't have to have a $500 rotary vise or anything. I mean, I've got this vise is just clamps to the table. I'm a natural jig color kind of feller. I, that's me. I am. Yeah, there would be. Should be. I like stuff like this, the, you know, browns and Domingo said his day starts early. Yes, sir. I understand completely. It is 10 o'clock and I got to be up at 520, 525 at the latest. I'll start work at six, so I'll be getting off here soon. Skip Jack, we have to be respectful on other channels. I want to say what I really want to say to Alvin. Thank you. Air run for being clean, keeping our channel clean here. I appreciate it. I normally don't color my crappie jig. Has never seemed to make a difference. Yeah, they're more of just a muddy water, black, dark purple, black chartreuse. Stained, pinks, oranges, and greens. Bobby Garland all the way stopped using hair ties. Our dogs going crazy outside. Clear, natural silvers, grays, blues. We need to go screen, go through and screenshot that because that's a that's the the tip right there. I don't have any unpainted. I'll throw it on a white one. You know when you might do another live. Don't want to miss y'all. When are we going live again there, Schnooks? We can Saturday night. Saturday night? Are we going to be back from the lake in time? Because oh. if we're going to North Fork, that's kind of a about an hour. Um, well, Yeah, we can do it tomorrow. Okay. You want to just stay around the house tomorrow night? Yeah. All right. Um, we'll go tomorrow. We'll go live tomorrow. Yeah. Who is Travis? Jeffro, we'll go um we'll go live tomorrow afternoon. Let's say um probably eight o'clock PM. That'll give us time to, if we want to do stuff, fish or whatever around. All right. Yeah, let's go 8 o'clock p.m. Um, tomorrow night. We'll do this again. And I'll just continue, like, working. I've got um, 25 more on this order, and then we'll just, like, whatever colors, whatever we want to make, we can just kind of, like, throw some random stuff, and then we can throw them on our Etsy shop and get rid of them. Um, since I met Natural State, haven't spent as much money on plastics the months past for some reason. Yeah, that's one thing that our jigs last. I mean, and they um, they seem to work so far. We're getting it. We're getting it honed in pretty good now. So I'm a lot more proud of them now than I was. We've gotten cheaper on them as well since i've started pouring our lead um i've cut out that middleman cost so i can i can make them cheaper hey mr rich welcome in did y'all's package make it uh not sound creepy or anything but where are you at in what state or states do you fish in no problem Wyatt. um man we are in arkansas and we fish everything on our channel so far is in arkansas we have our Oklahoma fishing license because we live right on the border of Arkansas and Oklahoma. But we haven't gotten over there to film any content yet. But we will. Um, we'll get over there some. But 98% of everything you're ever going to see on our channel will be in Arkansas. Yeah, Mr. Rich, welcome in. I like harder plastics in winter and softer in the summer. Nice to meet you, Travis. I've tested every color, and they'll all catch if you get it in their nose. That's the most productive here. 
Sounds good. All right, Jeffro, thank you so much. Got you subbed. Hair ties over plastics here in Oklahoma. Yes, today, awesome. Who are we going to raid after this live? <laughs> hey, Rich, yes, it came today. Thank you so much. Awesome. I'm glad. Haven't tied in so long. I bet mine will be sloppy. No, no, you'll get it. Figuring out some underspins for casting um, on the crappie side, crappie jigs. I'm looking at a bunch of molds, Glenn, so I got I got some stuff in my cart. I um I can't I can't get off of this size <laughs> yet. Um I can tell y'all that I've got a we're gonna work on a chatterbait that's going to be a bucktail, but I'm going to run like five to seven inch hackle feathers out the back and it's going to be, it's going to be good. I hope the way I've got it figured, I think it's going to be aggressive how it darts around and it's going to be, it's going to be all right. New to crappie fishing. So all the help I can get. Really? How much? Ouch. It's almost 5,000 pounds, and it says eight people. That's a big one. I've tried some. You should try t tying some underspins for casting. Oh, try to tie some. Awesome. I'm in western Pennsylvania. Uh, I have a few fish and vids on my channel, but we have our own lakes, and I've never fished for anything other than trout outside of our two big lakes. Awesome. Waiting at the airport. New to crappie fishing. I know pork chop. That's why I suggest Matt doing it. Can't wait to see it. Should be nice. I think it's going to be good. Um, yeah, Glenn, I've, uh, I've messed around a little bit tying them. Get some quality supplies. Glenn, if you, I don't, I mean, I'm sure that you know also where to get good stuff, but if you want to text me, I can tell you like where I get my stuff. I like underspins on my jig sometimes. I've made chatterbaits, but never tied them. Yeah, I think, uh, I think tying one's going to be all right. Especially with the long, like, hackle feathers, they're going to really, like, be delayed in the action. It's going to really look good. Um, subbed you into the world car show and cruise at Long Beach, Washington. Underspins are killer for scattered crappie. Awesome. These are massive. I do not like these. These are quarter ounce. These are way too big. But... I want to get downsized to like a um, like a sixteenth or whatever. I've got those, a couple different colors. Show us your weirdest bait, dude. I got some weird stuff, man. I've got stuff up here that I ain't even proud of anymore. Like this. This is an EWG hook with feathers. And I was going to try to catch a fish on it on top water. <laughs> is that a shuttlecock? It's exactly what it looks like. That's hilarious. The badminton like things. That's hilarious. So that's a weird one. Uh, I will tell you, I have folks wanting to buy jigs, but I'm too busy. I guess I could be tying instead of typing. Plenty of stuff. I have no clue what it is. Yeah, I've got some weird things. 
I like tried to build a frog one time. Mm. That was pretty awful. Here's a couple of those like underspin things. It's like a black, black and chartreuse. Uh, uh, chartreuse and white. Um. Six hundred and fifteen dollars a month. Eighteen thousand dollars. No thanks. This is pretty cool right here too. This is an EWG, but this is a school of minnows on it. <laughs> I'm fat and old, so you'd be typing and tying. Yeah, that's a school of minnows on an EWG. Thank you so much again for the soft tackle bag. Awesome. Fishing bait is the men's version of cloth shopping. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, those are all tied on there. Like a school of minnows. It's cool. Yeah, I guess. Thank you, Goose. This one here is um, made out of skunk tail. And that thing's long. I mean, it's... Huh? It's two-story. The camper... That's ridiculous. Let me see. Yeah, this is a skunk. Mm. Yeah. That's skunk tail. Actual, like, legit. Hang on, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> I've got, like, I've got it back here. I've got, like, random things like this that I've tried to, like, put UV resin on like some googly eyes from see the see the googly eye I don't know what the heck but it's just a weird that's like baby doll hair I'm gonna try an A-rig for crappie this coming spring when the crappie pre-spawn feed that would probably work if you could make it weightless, that would be the way to do it. That'd be sweet. Tried my hand at carving some topwater poppers. They turned out awesome until I painted them. Oh, man. That's pretty sweet, though. Tied one out of my beard hair. I don't suggest it. That's hilarious. I've got that. I'm going to put my, my hair on some, on some jigs and, like, go out and fish. I was telling them earlier, I've got, like, the half picture where my hair's still long. So that's gonna be like the thumbnail for it. Just being a goofy race and a guy catching big stripes, stripper stripers. Guy, you wanna be like how easy this is to sub the folks? Yeah, no doubt, Malone. That's uh Travis, that's the way to do it. Just everyone be a moderator. And now like YouTube has the two different types of moderators. It's like a standard moderator who can kick out like the spam. People who come in, like, put vulgar stuff in chat, y'all can kick them out. And then there's, like, the managing moderators who's, like, you know, Sophie and whatever. They got the power. How can time out? Yeah. Yeah, that's the old, uh, that's the skunk tail. It's pretty disgusting. It's gross to work with and everything. It's oily and disgusting, but it's an it's a legit skunk tail. I keep it in a bag because it's so bad. When I <laughs> when I when I first got it in, I um opened it and smelled it, and then uh. I had Sophie smell it, of course. You need a... I need a tomato. Oh, yeah. Poor chop. Tied one out of my beard hair. <laughs> Same. Travis tried it, too. Single main head and some tiny heads with jigs. Slow roll it. Have to use a bass rod. 
I think I can use a single main head and some tiny heads with jigs and slow roll it. Yeah, just, oh yeah, like a normal A-rig and then go down to like 16th ounce. It ain't called skunk for nothing, yeah. It's right there. Was a market for skunk, I guess he was right. There's definitely a, uh, <laughs> if, if she was clingy that day and I'm not, skunk tail would be handy, yeah. A killer for bass with the big ones will wear you out. Make a man of you quick. That's funny. Oh, yeah. I got one more here in me. If I can find a... And these here, this is another style head that I've been pouring. And it's just a, um, it's a Ned rig. Of course, I don't tie to it, but it's an extra wide gap Ned rig. And that's in our red bug color. It's just a red, kind of a plum, dark red with a green and blue flake in it. And that's a victory, number one victory hook. They are insanely sharp. Oh, on that Jolly Helgramite. Yeah, you know it. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've got one right here in this little bowl. I swore I had one rigged up. Oh, I don't know where. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Covered in, covered in hair, but um, there it is rigged up. You can just kind of expose the hook, <clears throat> but it's a that's a Jolly Bait Company Helgramite. Black and meth fish. Right now, because honey season here, might get on a few more this year. Oh yeah, yeah, they uh, they fit perfectly on these helgramites. Good stuff. I got just a white, white head there. One more here. It'd be good for the, for this size, for the eighth ounce. I got quarter ounce ball heads too, but I don't, that's a little too heavy for me, but people like them, especially for like walleye. Stuff like that, but. All right, let's get a uh, blue, something blue on here. White would have looked good too, but. Man, you gotta eat. Yeah, let me grab a, that's a cool color, that lavender. Fishing is the best hunting sport. Matt, you aren't far from Southwest Arkansas. You need to put in for alligator tags. I'm. That's all right. <laughs> 
Ready for this heat to break. Haven't been able to do anything for months. Perks of being the AC business of the South. It's a good, uh, good business to be in this time of year, though. Yeah, no, we're not far. I mean, there's gators around, not us, but like you said, southwest Arkansas. But I would never know what to do with them. Urban hunt started. Avocado. I'll look and see his life. Let me put this tail on here. Put that in a little bit of white. Glenn, are the Razorbacks gonna beat? Uh, you get drawn for a public tag and we'll take you to fill it. Nice. You think we're gonna beat Kent State? I don't even know who Kent State is. Yeah, if I um, if I put in for one and get drawn, I'll definitely uh, holler for you. They're in Ohio. Our heat's gonna break next week too. Karen's make good steam bait for Gator. If we don't beat Kent State, I'm smashing my TV. <laughs> That's kind of what I said today. There was a guy at work talking about he was going to the game, and uh, I was like, man, it ought to be a pretty sure, you know, sure victory. And he's like, oh, I don't know, that Kent State, I don't even know what state Kent State is in, so. Surely. They sound like a D2 school, so. Surely we can pull that off. The ocean is nice. Hey, what's up, fish head videos? Welcome in, man. I appreciate you hanging out with us. That would be hilarious. What I was wanting to show y'all before I hit the hit the end button here is a small college in Ohio. Nice. I figure we'll smoke them, but this blue chenille though is it's called minnow blue. But I wanted to see what it looked like. I've not tied anything with it yet. I think it's gonna be good. Let me get the hair out of there. Kent State lost by 40 to UCF. Just found this live stream through a share. Awesome. Kentucky. That's what I said. Yeah. Kind of looks like you're tying flies for fly fishing in just a much bigger scale. Pretty much exactly what we're um what I'm doing. Sorry, I don't even have that aimed at the jig down there. Mr. Earl, thank you so much for sharing us out and getting getting people to come in here, man. I appreciate it. Like that. And then I'll zoom back out and flip it around and show you on the on the rear facing. 
I think it'll be good. It's just a flashy blue, and I put just a little bit of purple underneath that white tail. And it's got that flashy blue there. It's actually Ohio. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I love that jig so much. It's awesome. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's got just a little bit of purple, like I said, under under the bottom there. Sure is pretty. How? What's up, Uncle Aaron? How you doing? We're just about to end it here. Crappie candy. Yeah, that's an eighth ounce, so it's kind of like heavy. Heavier than I like to throw, but. Yeah, thank you for coming in here. Hit the old like button if you would, if you haven't already. Putting you on the TV for another view real quick. Man, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's an eighth ounce. Heavier than I generally go, especially with a four pound line. I'd probably have to up it like six pound with this just so I didn't. I'd feel like I was going to lose it every cast. But we'll hang her up and Sophie will dry them, cure it later. She's the sealer. Except for the UV resin, I'd do those. But Eighth is good for current and wind to hold it straight when jigging vertical, yeah. TV looks so much better than the phone. Nice. That's cool. I appreciate it. 32 likes. That's insane. There's still 18 people in here. I hate to get off because it's helping our watch time a lot. But 19 right now, yeah. Oh, wow. I know. I know. I may just call into work and hang out with y'all all night. No, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. That's going to do it, though. But... Amazing work, team Matt and Sophie. Thank you. Sophie's got Dylan there. He's passed out over there. He's asleep. So that's going to be it. But, yeah, we got a ton of new color chenilles and stuff. Kind of a white pearl. And, a, like I said, that gold is cool. We've got the purple. It's going to make some good-looking stuff, especially with we've got this purple flash purple marabou with the flash put some black in there with that purple is gonna look really good definitely glenn green eggs and ham next time Corey tomorrow night eight o'clock we'll go live again if anyone wants to come back y'all are more than welcome um eight o'clock central time tomorrow night we'll uh we'll do it again yeah for sure We'll go live again tomorrow night and try to keep building our watch time. If y'all get a spare device and want to stream, uh, we've got that watch time booster playlist on our channel. And yeah, Corey just shared our Rock Creek Bait Company. That is our actual where you can go to order any of our... That's our actual bait company side. Where you can go to order anything. We've got all the different stuff here. Bunch of them, bunch of them. What's up, Chris? We're just saying our goodbyes, man. Got to hit the sack. Can't hold the eyes open. All right, Jeffro. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Try to make it 9 p.m. Eastern. Yep. Be at a ball game. Good live. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate you hanging out. Thank everybody. Appreciate y'all. We're going to get off here. and uh, Tomorrow night, we'll also tie some big bucktails. I've got a bunch of stuff already colored up. And we'll tie some bucktails, too, tomorrow night while we're 
yeah y'all are going to catfish regulators catfish regs live so yeah chris tomorrow night we'll go live again at eight o'clock central time so we'll do it again and uh i won't have to work saturday so we can stay on pretty much however late y'all want so anyway i appreciate it we'll see all y'all tomorrow hit the thumbs up on your way out and we'll catch y'all later thank you so much